Good morning, first grade friends. We are here for our second foundations lesson, and Mama Echo is back with me today along with Baby Echo, and we're going to learn two new letters today, but let's review the letters we learned yesterday. Remember, we have our letter, our alpha friend, and then we make our sound. Our letter B, remember, is a skyline letter. So we start all the way at the top, come all the way down to the grass line. Our uppercase B and our lowercase B. Remember, our lowercase B looks like Benny Bear. Benny Bear is standing up nice and tall, but he's got that big belly sticking out from eating too much breakfast today. Remember that when Baby Echo points to the camera, you are going to repeat B bear b. B bear b. Let's try it one more time. Remember our lips go together. B bear b. B bear b. Our next friend is Fifi Fish. Again, a skyline letter. So it starts all the way at the top and goes all the way down to our grass line. Our lowercase f, remember, reminded Mrs. Robbins of a candy cane. It hooks up to the skyline, all the way down to the grass line, and crosses over at the plane line. F, fish, f, fish, f, fish, f, fish, Our next letter, we have Tiggy Tiger. Again, another skyline letter. So we start all the way at the plane line and come all the way down to the grass line, our uppercase T and our lowercase T, which we said reminded us of a cross that we might see in our classroom or when we go to church. And Tiggy Tiger looks like a T while he's working out. T Tiger T. T Tiger T. T Tiger T. T, tiger, T. So those are three of our skyline letters. Today we're going to learn two plane line letters. So when we're talking about the plane line, remember it is our middle line, our dashed line, which this reminds me of when you see an airplane in the sky, the smoke that's coming out of the back, or we call that the jet stream that's coming out of the back. So those letters will not reach up to our clouds. Those letters will reach just to the plane line and sit on the grass line. And we'll practice writing those in a bit. So our first letter that is a plane letter is M for Mimi Mouse. And Mrs. Veldman was nice enough today. Look what she made. M&M &M cookies for our letter M. And when we say our sound for M, just like when you take a bite of something that's really, really good, like Mrs. Veldman's cookies, we say mmm. Notice how my lips go together. Mmm. So our alpha friend today is Mimi Mouse. Notice that my uppercase letter, all uppercase letters are going to be skyline letters, but my lowercase letter stops at that plane line. It does not go above the plane line. Okay, and we have our stick, and then kind of like a camel with two humps. So we say M Mouse Mmm. M mouse mmm. Try again. M mouse mmm. M mouse mmm. Our next letter, our last one for today, we have N. And the letter N is kind of like we cut the M in half. It only has one hump. And this is Nile Noodle. Again, remember that our uppercase letter goes all the way to the skyline. But our lowercase n has our stick and one hump, and they only touch the plane line. They do not reach up to the skyline. So we have n n n noodle n n noodle n. Notice that my lips do not go together for the letter n like they did for the letter m. Let's do that again. N noodle n n noodle n. Okay, let's get our fingers ready for our sky writing. We're going to go ahead and review all our letters. So let's start with B. We start all the way at the sky, come down to the grass line. We trace back up to the plane line and stick out Benny Bear's stomach. Let's try that again. Skyline to the grass line, trace up to the plane line, 
circle around for Benny Bear's stomach. Our letter F, remember, is our candy cane hook up to the skyline, straight down to the grass line, and then we cross over at the plane line. One more time. Hook up to the skyline, straight down to the grass line, cross over at the plane line. Letter T, start up at the skyline, straight down to the grass line, cross over at the plane line. Start up at the skyline, straight down to the grass line, cross over at the plane line. Now letter M is going to be a little different in letter N because we're not going to reach up for those clouds. We're just going to go to our plane line. So M, we have our stick, we trace back up, and we have hump, hump. Reminds me of a camel that has two humps. Let's try that again. Starting at the plane line this time. Stick straight down to the grass line, trace it back up, hump, hump. Letter N is a lot like the letter M, except it only has one hump. So again, start at the plane line this time, straight down to the grass line, trace it back up, and one hump. Try again. Start at the plane line, straight down to the grass line, and one hump. Go ahead and take out your foundations paper. And I'm going to move my camera so you can see. We're going to practice all of our letters today. So let's start with a review of our B. We start at the skyline, straight down to the grass line. I'm going to trace back up and stick Benny Bear's stomach out. Notice that his stomach only goes up to the plane line. Again, start at the skyline, straight down to the grass line, trace up, and bring his tummy around. My letter F, remember, is a hook up to the skyline, straight down to the grass line, and we're going to cross over on the plane line. My letter F is going to hook up to the skyline, straight down to the grass line, cross over at the plane line. Letter T, start up at the plane line, straight down to the grass line, cross over at the plane line. Start up at the skyline, straight down to the grass line, cross over at the plane line. Now for our letter M and N, remember that I said those are plane line letters. We do not want them to reach above the plane line. So I'm going to start at the plane line, where my dot is, straight down to my grass line. Then I'm going to trace back up and I'm going to go hump, hump. Notice that it did not go above the dotted line. I like to tell my students that if my plain line letters go above the dotted line, they're going to float away into the sky like a balloon. All right, let's try M again. So we're going to start at the plain line, straight line down to the grass line. Then we're going to trace back up and hump, hump. My letter N is going to be the same thing except one hump. So we're going to start at the plane line. We're going to go straight down to the grass line. Trace back up and one hump. Try that again. Start at the plane line. Go straight down to the grass line. And one hump. These are the letters that I would like you to practice for today. Remember, in our virtual classroom, you can go to the different letter slides. You can go to the letter B slide, the letter F, the letter T, and now add M and N. And there are different songs and activities teaching you how to write your letters for you to practice. I hope you had fun learning today, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.